And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our patch 2.7 notes live reaction. This is going to be first time going through and reading this. We have a new expansion coming out tomorrow. It's going to be super exciting. We're going to have this video here, talk about whatever changes we're going to have um, in the current metagame. And then we're also going to be doing a new champion reveal uh, kind of spotlight, like where we talk about all three of the new champions. Um, that's going to be another video that's going to be coming up right after this. Uh, so that's going to be our, our first things for today. So let's take a look at the brand new patch. And so we're going to have the new expansion called Guardians of the Ancient. And of course, there's the uh, video for the Guardians of the Ancient trailer. So let's kind of read through this. Get ready to choose your fate in Legends of Runeterra's newest expansion, Guardians of the Ancient. This expansion introduces a new keyword, Blade Dance which can turn the tide of battle in your favor at any time, even without an attack token. So it adds 42 collectible cards and three new champions, Zillion, Malphite, and Aurelia. Okay, and so it'll be playable at approximately 11 a.m. Pacific time um, tomorrow, and so that's going to be noon, 1, 2, so that's, that's approximately 2 p.m., Eastern time and so that's that's when we're gonna go live tomorrow 2 p.m. Eastern time usually on Wednesday nights I go live about 4 p.m. Eastern but with the new expansion tomorrow I want to make sure we can play four decks and we're also going to be building our decks tomorrow So if you want to come watch, you know watch and help us build new decks with all the new champions And everything that's going to start at 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern tomorrow, maybe a little bit after being you know, right around there All right, so we have a new keyword with the new expansion, we got Blade Dance. Aurelia the Blade Dancer has graced the battlegrounds of Legends of Runeterra. And with her comes a new keyword, Blade Dance. So cards with Blade Dance summon a number of blades which immediately begin a free attack against your opponent. Blade Dance attacks can take place with or without an attack token and doesn't consume the attack token when it happens. A single blade may not look like much on its own, but you shouldn't underestimate the combo potential of such a versatile tool. So we're going to have these units that have this keyword Blade Dance. Um, so Ribbon Dancer, for example, says uh, play, you Blade Dance 1. And so that means that you start a free attack with that many summon blades, so with one blade. So just um, you play the Ribbon Dancer, and then just the Blade Dance is just going to be up like in the middle part of the screen already attacking. You just start a free attack with that one 1-1 one, one blade. And the blades are just little 1-1s. One, They're one mana 1-1s. One, um, and we'll talk about that a lot more with Aurelia whenever we do our um, new champion reveal video. I'll talk about all the, the different uh, kind of things you can kind of do with that. But that looks like, like that's a really powerful thing. So even if you don't have the attack token, you can still get some good attacks in. Um, Blossoming Blade over here. Blade has play. Blade Dance too. So you get two one ones attacking. All right. So uh, new challenges. Okay, so there's gonna be new new challenges. That's those are like the tutorial type things um, in in Legends of Runeterra. So you're gonna have a couple new ones of those to kind of explain Blade Dance and stuff, and then card updates. Let's see. So NASA's Thresh decks have been thriving and consistently surpassing our win rate and play rate thresholds for what we consider healthy. So we're making small changes to the Shadow Isles portions of the deck that have continued to cause meta problems. For now, while NASA's is a clear powerhouse. For the deck, we want to leave the power of Sharima intact. So we are watch listing Nasus so we can continue to monitor his performance while investigating potential changes to him in the future if he continues to overperform. All right, so we have two cards changed. This just came out, so like the art's not really quite there yet. Maybe if I refresh, um, it will, the card art will be there maybe. Nope, not yet. All right, so Atrocity is now going to cost seven. That's that's no big surprise. That's something that we kind of talked about for a while, that that's something that could definitely happen. So you don't get to be able to play two Atrocities in a singular turn. And uh, I think that's that's a, a good change. I think that Atrocity is um, on, on the same power level as Vengeance, which is going to be a seven mana spell from Shadow Isles also. I think Atrocity costing seven. Um, yeah, I think that, that makes a lot of sense. And that that's not going to like... You know, it's not going to change a whole lot, but it, it does change some things. Like, there's definitely times, like, where the deck really wants to, like, play spells and get down to exactly six mana and be able to atrocity for six. That's happened so many times where my opponents had exactly six mana for the atrocity because they, they were able to play other stuff first. And so this just puts a little bit of a hindrance. Like, there is a difference between six and seven mana. 
and so that could slow them down. And then, of course, you also have like how 13 is the total amount of mana you can possibly have in a in a round. And so atrocity costing seven means that you're not going to be able to have um, two two atrocities in one round because that would be 14 mana. And I've you know definitely died to double atrocity, right? Like that's that's certainly a thing. So uh, yeah, good good change there. I think that that's gonna you know it's 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 not gonna you know put make the deck terrible, but that is going to hurt the deck a little bit. All right, and then let's see, Blighted Caretaker also getting it, which Blighted Caretaker is incredibly powerful. It really is. It is so good. And then yes, it does have the awesome synergy with Slay with Fearsome. We want to keep those the synergistic, but slightly reduced its early game pressure and its ability to create even more Slays by moving it to one power. All right, so now it looks like Blighted Caretaker will now be a 1-1 instead of a 2-1, and so that will help, or so like that means that you know maybe Blighted Caretaker with being a 1-1 won't slay other things. I think that's probably a good change. Like Blighted Caretaker is great. <laughs> Making those two 2-1 two challengers, it's incredible. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I always, I really like playing Blighted Caretaker before this Thresh Nasus deck just in like other decks and everything i've always enjoyed playing blighted caretaker but it's a really rough card to play against for sure and so i think those are both good changes that's going to reduce the power level of thresh nasus decks not necessarily a ton right like it doesn't kill the deck and that's that's what riot likes to do is is with the nerfs they don't want to just you know kill atrocity and just make it not playable or blighted caretaker make it not playable I think that's still definitely playable, but now you don't, like, if you're trying to block Blighted Caretaker, it's a lot easier to block it with a 1-1, uh, you know, with it just being, sorry, with it being a 1-1, so, you know, your 2-2 your two -two or your 3-2 or whatever can block Blighted Caretaker and stay alive. And then also, it doesn't kill you as fast, like, you only take the 1 damage instead of 2 whenever it's attacking, so if, if all of your blockers are getting challenged by the um, saplings, which happens all the time, you're taking one less point of damage to your nexus. So that's, um, you know, that helps. That that matters. So I think those are both probably good at changes. Okay, so then we get some, uh, the three regions with new champions, Shirima, Targon, and Ionia. They all have their re region rewards. Uh, their roads are extended by four levels. And looks like we're going to have a new board, the Time Temple. That looks pretty sweet. Ooh, maybe a new card back with zillion oh we got chip so chip's gonna be our new guardian i like it and chrono chip and yep there's our zillion card back pretty sweet and looks like we get a zillion emote looks like he's praying or no back way slowly I guess he's backing away slowly. And Aurelia's got a new emote. Try to keep up. And then the Shreema Targon. Or Shreema, uh, sorry, Icon. Icon. Okay. Um, any miscellaneous things? Cards created by concurrent timelines now inherit prismatic effects. Uh... Okay, well, this is definitely a change right here. Mushrooms now do aggregate damage all at once when drawn together, rather than taking one damage X times, with X being the number of mushrooms drawn. That's important. So um, if you would draw five mushrooms, it would do one damage to you five times. That's that's what happened. Each mushroom does one damage to you. And the reason why that's important is because if you have a leveled up Lissandra in play that gives your Nexus tough, you could draw five Puff Caps and you take zero damage because your Nexus is tough. Now it just does... Um, all the damage at once. So now it's going to do five damage. Like if you draw five five puff caps, you take five damage. So if your nexus is tough, you take four damage instead. So that's that's definitely a change there. That that hurts level up Lissandra versus puff caps. Um, and then oh yeah, that also that also but that hurts. Uh, yeah, that hurts Swain Swain then right because. No, I think it's it's only one source. I think no, I think Swain. Wait, did Swain? If you drew five puff caps, did Swain stun five things? I guess I'm not exactly sure. So like it it will, if it, 
I think it only triggered Swain one time before, because I think it's only one source of damage. It just it just does the one damage five times. Yeah, yeah. So it so it works the exact same with Swain now. Um All right, so it looks like if you if you're if you're somebody who enjoys cross cross shard friend challenge, that will no longer be supported after patch 2.9. Um, let's see. Man, looks like nothing else. Nothing else of note. Okay, so there we go. So that's going to be uh, new, uh, you know, new cards coming out tomorrow. Very excited for the new expansion. As always, the three champions all look really, really cool. And uh, we got a little bit of nerfs to the most popular deck right now. And, uh, you know, like the very good deck with Thresh, Thresh Nasus with Atrocity and Blighted Caretaker. So it looks like good change is coming. All right, but that's going to be it here for the patch 2.7 uh, live reaction. Those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button, and of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of both of those nerfs with the Atrocity change, the Blighted Caretaker change. No Watcher change. We were expecting, eh, expecting is a little strong, but, you know, would not have been surprised of any kind of change to the Watcher. That's that's something I was definitely watching for. Rock me. Um, but we will, uh, you know, see if that's going to be changing in the future. But for now, the Watcher uh, is untouched and will still continue to be the same. All right, that's all I got here for the patch 2.7 live reaction, though. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.